Welcome to the second edition of Desert X, an art exhibition on a grand scale, with 19 installations throughout the Coachella Valley and beyond, ranging from the Mexican border to the Salton Sea, through Palm Springs to Desert Hot Springs, Desert X covers a vast area with incredible geographical diversity. Open to the public through April 21st, 2019. Desert X is not to be missed. It's a pleasure to be here at Desert X with one of the artists, the installers, amazing piece. This is Pia Camille, and her piece is called Lover's Rainbow. Mm. Tell us about it. We just saw a photo of it, and it looks beautiful. And I don't know how you created it. Well, it's um, a two-part piece. One is obviously here at the Coachella Valley, and the other one is in um, Guadalupe Valley in Baja. And how did you decide the two areas? So I was uh, invited to do a residence in Baja, and I was um, thinking about a piece that could work for that particular landscape, and then I was approached by Desert X to also do a public work. And the, the conditions are very similar. It's almost identical right, uh, landscapes. landscapes right. And so, and they, and it turns out they're almost in a straight line, one from the other, only separate about 190 kilometers apart in a straight line. Oh, interesting. And, interesting. Um, obviously, the work is meant to, uh, you know, throw some light into current immigration policies and um, invite viewers to try to, you know, if 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 they please, to try to make the adventure and and follow the rainbow. We're here with Ivan Agote. Uh -huh, is that Agote. correct? This installation is called A Point of View. Yes, it's is a point correct? of view, yeah. And so we are here, obviously, at the Salton Sea. Somehow you managed to pick a spot in a sea that is very big. How, how, how come this spot? Oh, it was a big, a big research uh, in between the curators, the Desert X team, and even the contractors. Mm -hmm. So it was, it, we spent a year looking for this place and like having permissions and having like. Uh, all kind of yeah situation so we finally the contractor put us in touch with the land owner with this and this he was very generous and let us do the installation here and, Claudia, you had and a there question? are five uh, five sets of stairs that you created yeah there is yeah. so there is five the installation is named a point of view and there is five different points of view point of and view. then actually like it's like proposal to a space of like an elevation of the landscape so you can kind of contemplate differently you know, on the steps there is this kind of poetry that may are reflections yes. about like the place the your relationship with landscape with history with economy and this is in both English and Spanish is that correct? yeah of course and you did that for a reason because um, most of people in these towns speak Spanish um, more than 60 percent right. of people so it's, uh, it needs to be bilingual because it needs to be generous to I believe we're closest to thermal. Is it, is it? It's closest. It's North Shore and Mecca. North Shore, Mecca. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're here at the Wind Farms with Nancy Baker Cahill, and your installation piece is. It's called Revolutions. Revolutions. And it's but very much a technical installation. It's an interactive uh, virtual, virtual reality. reality. It's actually right? augmented reality. Uh, tell augmented. us a little bit about that. So actually the drawings, you're not wrong. The drawings were created in virtual reality okay. in 360, mm -hmm. but they've been since been translated into augmented reality. Okay. So that part is exactly right. And so for, for someone to get involved with this one, you need to have your iPhone, you need to download the You the need app. to download the Fourth Wall app, and it's for TH, um, not the word for, for the Fourth, number four. Number four okay. TH. Yeah. Four, yes, exactly. And it's available, and this is important, it's available on all phones that are iPhone 6S and above, iOS 11, and any a Android with AR core. And okay. for any of our folks who come in, to, to, to check out this installation, do you need to step stand in this one location and look at this one direction? Or no, I mean we sort of perceive this as the ideal vantage point, but you can stand pretty much anywhere. It will, um, it will appear, you know, in relation to where you are. So if you're really far away, it's going to be small, and if you're closer, it'll be, you know, bigger. So I hear you're seeing flowers. So that's the augmented reality of looking at the. Windmills? Well, the reason why the reason why I picked blossoms as blossoms. as my subject matter, yes, is because um, I was I was sort of when I I've always been sort of obsessed with these wind farms, and to me they really look like 
like an AI garden, like what a robot would do if they thought, well, let's plant a garden. It's an idea, yes. You know? And so I wanted to kind of create some dissonance between that and the actual biological, you know, the, the, the beauty of the flora and fauna that's here. So all the colors were inspired by actual desert blossom. So I imagine the, the blossoms as, using them as inspiration, I kind of imagine them being kicked up um, and sort of tossed into the air and, and then becoming shattered and particulate. Mm. And so this drawing is actually part of a kind of call and response to the drawing I did that's at the Salton Sea Rec Center. And it also sort of, I wanted to underscore this idea of particulate life and of things being ephemeral. And mm. and this is an ephemeral medium. It, you can't see it with the naked eye, you can only see it here. Right. And it exists only in when you take a picture or a video of it. You know, so what it's a creative this very... idea. Yeah, thank you. Really. So. Well, thank you for well, having me. Well, it's very spiritual. Here. Thank you so thank much, you. Nancy. Okay. So we are here with artist John Gerard, and this uh, installation is called. This is called Western Flag, and it is the first installation that, that anybody would see coming into Palm Springs. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the installation. So um, it is, first of all, it's an LED wall, which is placed out in the desert here, right beside the Palm Springs Visitor Center. And it's, um, it's a virtual world. So it's a piece of software, which is producing this, this, this image you can see behind us, which is uh, a portrait of a site in Texas called Spindletop, where the very first major oil strike in world history happened in 1901, this huge oh. oil strike. And the priest tries to remember that strike less to do with what it achieved, you know, kind of automobile industry or changes in agriculture, and more what it left behind, which is carbon dioxide, um, which is building up in the atmosphere and posing all sorts of risks and this to, is what we're seeing coming to out of culture. The well, I mean, the idea what, what carbon dioxide is invisible. Um, so the piece tries to give mm -hmm. it an image. And one of the ways I did that was to um, produce a flag of smoke. So it's not a national flag. It's a flag which, you know, asks questions about the political risks of carbon dioxide. So it's kind of a little bit of an anxious object, I would say. In Texas, standing there, do you see this or is it augmented? If you're standing in Texas, you see uh, the site we made a portrait of. Okay. And the portrait exists as a virtual world in, this, in the computer here. Right. But um, there is nothing of this in Texas. Right. This is completely virtual. Right. The flag is invented, but the po the portrait is of a real landscape. And we are so here. So it's kind of a new a new new media. We are here during the afternoon. Yeah. But this event is 24 hours a day. Is that correct? Is yeah, it, for the next three months. Yeah, it's 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 like a beacon at night. It's it's like a torch. It's Ooh. super bright. The light emitting diodes throw light into the world. They're not going to beat the sun, but um, in the evening it's super bright. It's beautiful. Dusk. dusk is amazing dusk here. Is yeah, amazing. 5 p.m. Yeah, sounds good. 5 yeah. p.m. Come on by and take, check this one out. So we're here with Kara Romero. She is the uh, the artist of this installation over our shoulders. And uh, uh, Kara, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Quick? Sure. So uh, I'm from Chimuevi Valley, a reservation that's about 150 miles from here. Uh, we share ancestry with the indigenous peoples of the area, the Cahuilla, the Serrano, Mojave, and Chimuevi are all from Coachella Valley. And I had the opportunity to create an installation that was a response to the landscape. I definitely wanted to let people know that they're on Indian land. And it's a warm welcome to Coachella Valley. It's a chance to connect with the spirit people of the landscape. So, just really excited to be a part of it. I hope everybody enjoys it. Um, we're here in this iconic Southern California garage. It's evocative of the 50s, of Ed Ruscha, of this classic Americana um, era. And Eric, I think, has done a beautiful job dressing the building effectively, using architecture in this incredible way. Um, so please just join me in welcoming him. He'll say a few words. Thank you for being here with us today. First, I want to thank uh, the Desert X team. I really appreciate being included in this um, and given the opportunity to really think about think about space in a larger expanse and um, really consider the desert as a site where um, painting can be expanded. Um, I really consider this work coming from the tradition of painting. Um, so if you can bend your mind and think about the the surface of the fabric as a ready-made and that the intimacy created with the, the surfaces um, could be potentially on your body. Like really think about like a kind of sheath 
a kind of um, scrim. It doesn't diminish the light, it doesn't diminish the architecture, it works with the architecture. Coachella with the artist Armando Lerma at the water tower that he created this incredible mural. The name of the mural, Ar Armando. The name of the murals in Visit Us in the Shape of Clouds, Visit which us is in a the shape of clouds. reference to like a, a prayer for rain as a water tank. Yeah. And it's it's huge. So how do you back away to to, to put that up there? Do you, you're, this is actually a painting on the water tower. Right. Did yeah. you actually draw on the water tower? I did. I didn't project it or... Yeah. yeah. It's a, but it's not that hard. It's pretty, If you know how to draw, it's just size, <sighs> scale. It's not that hard. We can all do it. <laughs> no, you, you have those, uh, the lift, the genie, yes. the booms. Yeah. They're really good. Thank and you. the timing from doing this was, I yeah. think you said, very quickly. Three weeks. I was here every day. And Three we weeks had, with we the rain. Thing? Yeah. Is that right? And I had one person. Rain. Open. Yeah. Wow. We had a lot of rain in the last three weeks. Well, thank you. It's beautiful. Thank you cool. so much. Thank you Amanda. guys. Okay. Last tour of the day at the Wave, and we're so fortunate to be here with the co-curators of Desert X, Matthew Shum and Amanda Hunt. They have been leading us throughout the day. What how, long we, how long have we been out now? Oh my Four goodness. or five hours. Four or five it seems hours. Like. Yeah. Yeah. This is a work by Post Commodity, and yeah. Post Commodity is an indigenous self-determination group. What they did when they came to Palm Springs is they interviewed a, a several mid-century homeowners. And then they used the interviews in um, different um, sets and uh, staging with uh, young millennial actors. So mm -hmm. some of the uh, things that were said in the interviews were then turned into lines that these millennials will see this here. This is what we hear in the background. And so the sound piece also involves recordings from uh, the valley, across the valley, the San Andreas Fault and uh, different you know, seismic activity. Uh, there's, there's recordings from a windmill. So you get some of the different sounds that move through the valley, as well as the sort of sounds that would fill a house, like the famous Walter White Wave House where we're standing. Thank you so much. Desert X. Well, right now, right here, we're standing on the San Andreas Fault. That's right. It's pretty amazing to actually think about that. Right? Yeah, <laughs> thinking about it. And there's a big oasis underneath. That's correct. And one of, the, one of the ways you can prove that there is an oasis is that behind us, first of all, we have the Ghost Palm, which is one of the installations here. By Catherine Desert Ryan. X, by Catherine Ryan. But if you look a little bit further up the hill, you can see more of the palm trees up there. And it's kind of odd to figure that there's actually that much greenery out here. And that's yeah. because the water is running under here, under the, the fault lines that are here. Yeah. It's I'm, pretty amazing. It is amazing. I think what Catherine was, was doing was sort of trying to echo the Washingtonian palms that's in this it's a pretty amazing sculpture. It is pretty nice. It's actually 20 feet tall, which is my mm -hmm. understanding. And there's kind of three different parts to it. There's the bottom part, which are the pane windows, which kind of is a throwback to the mid-century modern era, I, I think I guess. it's like Victorian um, it's, greenhouse. That, that's correct. That's correct. With and the mid-century modern chandelier. Chandelier, exactly. And then the palms up there are made out of a, like a plastic material. And depending it's on what time really you're here, you can actually hear those uh, chandelier yeah. sticks bouncing together and the palms in the wind, which is pretty, pretty Ooh, interesting. I think we are. Can you hear that? I can hear them. They're there. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So we had a great Desert oh. X 2019 experience. It was amazing. Going? Yeah. It's two full days and nights of traveling all around the Coachella Valley. I don't think I have ever hit so much or traveled so much land here in the valley floor <laughs> I than I have in the past couple of days. Back on the bus. We have been from Palm <laughs> Springs to Indio to uh, the, uh, Salton the Salton sea. sea. And if you actually take the whole trip, there is another part of this out in Baja, Mexico. Uh, I think it's easy to say that we're grateful that we had an opportunity to see this. Definitely suggest that viewers come be part of it. It's here until yeah, April. April 20th, which is, I think that's great. Yeah. And it sort of extends, you know, before modernism, after modernism, into the spring. Desert Bloom will be here. I think it will be magnificent yeah, this year with be. all the water, all the rain, and all the snow that we've had. Exactly. So, yeah, so Desert X is... Come out. Do come out. It's, Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the experience. Yeah.
It was fun. Yes. Okay. <laughs>